Athens police investigators are waiting to release the names of the victims from yesterday's double murder suicide. People in the community are still struggling to comprehend the deaths. Plus, outside Athens city limits, there have been a string of other killings in Limestone County over the past few weeks. Thanks for watching. I'm Greg Privet. And I'm Mary Lee Melendez. Wait 31's Brittany Collins has been working on this story all day. She's live in Athens after learning how people in Limestone County are reacting to all of this violence. Brittany? Well, Mary Lee and Greg, the count on killings and related suicides has now reached the double digits. And that's just since the end of last month. Now, people who live here in Limestone County tell me that the killings between family members and friends is becoming very heart sickening. Murder and family, I can't put them together. It doesn't stick. So uh, I hope it gets better. Ann Collier remembers when Limestone County hardly had any murders, much less killings back to back. A simpler time is one of the reasons she moved back here. I cannot believe it. It is scary. I might as well, I lived in the north. I might as well go back to New York where I can expect, you know, something like that. But uh, down here, I don't expect it. On June 29th, there was a murder suicide just north of Athens on Airfield Street. Two brothers, Rigoberto Sanchez Ocampo and Adolfo Sanchez Ocampo, were found dead. Investigators don't know who shot who first. You go to bed at night and then you don't know what to, uh, to expect the next day, uh, in the morning, or whatever. Just two days later, people were stunned to hear about the triple murder just outside of Ardmore. On July 1st, Darwin Brazier shot and killed himself after killing his ex wife, her new husband, and their roommate. You can solve issues without a gun easily. Like, I'm not sure why people have been resorting to that uh, solution, but I don't think it's right. Then on July 16th, there was another murder suicide in the Owens community. Jason Woolridge shot and killed his roommate and friend, John Few. Woodridge then shot himself. In the most recent killings, Athens police aren't releasing any details about the double murder suicide that happened on Saturday. But nearby neighbors told Way 31 family was involved. We we were families. We might would fight together, but that was all it would be was just a little fight, you know. But murdering and then go and commit suicide on yourself. Ann Collier and others believe Limestone County is a Bible-based community, so they only pray it gets better. I hope that, like, they can come to, like, a solution to where violence isn't an issue. We all believe in God, and He is not pleased with what we are doing. And many people say they are glad that these shootings aren't random targets. However, they hope that these family members seek help before deciding to take another life. Right now, reporting live in Limestone County, Brittany Collins, Way 31 News.